top right hand corner of the map representing his new official team from Karate Esports. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Vipro. And he is facing off against the legend. The bottom left hand corner from Team Incredible Miracle. It is Seed. The map is going to be Cloud Kingdom. And I got to say, this is uh, going to be pretty, uh, pretty cool. I'm excited to do some solo commentary for you guys because. I was actually talking to everybody about it in the office, and they're like, Kibbles, are you gonna, are you gonna die? You know, you don't have oh, Tim and Kevin with you. I was like, actually, you know, I come back from um, Playham, and I really wish Tumbo was tuning in right now, because um, he's gonna know all about this. Actually, you know, I got my roots in casting StarCraft from uh, Playham, which you guys may or may not know. Um, but, you know, I, I used to just basically wake up every morning at like 10 o'clock and shoot Tumba a Skype message and be like, Tumba! Tumba, are you guys going to need me today? Do you need me? Um, because back then all we had was solo commentary. There are cords laying on cords laying on my mouse and making it very difficult to ops. Luckily, there's not too much going on right now. But uh, So I used to wake up every morning absurdly early for a gamer and just cast some EU stuff, and it was lots and lots of fun, and it made me really, really enjoy solo casting because you get to interact. In fact, that reminds me, during the next break, I'm going to grab myself my uh, my little tablet to so chat with you guys during the breaks. Actually, I think I can... Oh my goodness, I'm not casting with Kevin. I can do it on the computer right here. This is fun. But uh, I'll have to make sure that we uh, get some communication going on there because I really enjoy being able to chat with the chat while I chat about StarCraft. There's a lot of chatting, I know. All right, guys, so kicking things off here. Both players have opted to get pretty regularly timed gateways. Notice that nobody's just finishing up obnoxiously early. Seeds is a couple seconds ahead. The amount of time here really could be attributed to just, honestly, just putting your probe micro a little bit better on these close mineral patches. That's something that a lot of top-end players do. Uh, if you want to feel like a top-end player, you can do it too. The amount of difference it's going to make in your build is pretty negligible, but uh, you know what? I try to do it anyways, honestly, and then I still lose to diamond players from time to time and feel pretty bad. Um, but, you know, you can uh, you can honestly, you can still experiment with that. It's fun, high-level stuff. Gas is wrapping up right now. For V proceeds, not quite at this moment. And I'm going to encourage you guys once again to take a look down in that chat and uh, check out those links that IGN Pro League is currently posting. They are giving you all the lowdown on the 10 grand worth of free stuff we're giving away. I absolutely can't believe it. I wish uh, I could click on those links right now and score myself some free gaming gear. Totally need a new mouse pad. My mouse pad is absolutely destroyed. It's, um,. You know, I, I, I use the uh, Razor Goliathus. I know it's a pretty popular mouse pad. we got a lot of them here at work as well. But it, I didn't get the fancy one with the stitching on the edge. It's just kind of like normal. Uh, like, like It just ends. It just stops being a mouse pad at one point. There's no, uh, there's no way to hold it together. And so it's like fraying and coming apart. And here I am trying to play competitive StarCraft with it. Gateway's going down uh, for... That's not a gateway. That is, in fact, a Twilight Council going down for VPro. Not unexpected at all in this map as uh, Cloud Kingdom is very vulnerable to blink play, folks. Uh, you can blink up through this area here. You can also, of course, blink up through uh, the same area up front. <laughs> but blink has become more and more a very aggressive strategy, not just in PvP, but other matchups as well. Uh, PvT is, uh, is in addition. We don't see people um, going blink defensively, in all honesty, at this stage. And we'll have to see what this does transpire into. I expect a robo to come out of VPro in a couple of minutes here. Uh, or at least out of one of these players, because you want the ability to blink up on your opponent's high ground without them waiting for that 100 gas, and there's the Robo Facility for Seed. We have yet to see one out of VPro, however. Both of these players with Blink nearly timed the same, just a couple seconds ahead right now for Seed, in fact. So he's ahead on Blink. He's got a Robo on the way. VPro is playing a little bit more conservative. We see he's making sentries right now, and uh, he also has a probe down on the low ground. He's actually going to go for a Nexus here, which... It's actually really surprising. Um, so Seed, he's going to have the ability to blink up directly into the main. And you can see he's got three gateways here. He's got this Robo who will be making an Observer with this Robo. Uh, maybe a Warp Prism afterwards, but that's extremely unlikely. The more important thing for him is getting as many Stalkers as he can. And this is so awesome. Thank you, Chris. Chris just handed me my tablet so I could chat with you guys while we're casting. I'm sorry there's, there's action going on in this game, so let's actually get back to that, but... I would love to see what you guys are saying, because um, today, honestly, it's it's gonna be a lot more, it's gonna be a lot more personal. I don't know, it's just me and you guys, so we get to have some fun. Everybody else is at Dice; they're in Vegas. They're having a lot of fun. I'm 
I'm, I, I would naturally be jealous, but I'm actually going to force myself to have so much fun casting today that they're going to be jealous that they're in Vegas. That never <laughs> They're going to be jealous they're in Vegas. Is that a sentence that can work? Blink is done for Seed and for Vpro, guys. He's going to blink forward, catch this Stalker. We'll see if he blinks that back. Who does? But oh, so minorly coming in. The Stalker count is in favor of Seed right now. Vpro is significantly less. Not enough for a Guardian Shield as well. This is all coming down to Blink, Micro, and Numbers. Numbers in Seed's favor. Blink, Micro looking pretty even now between both players. Somehow, actually, we got to say here that Vpro may have had the Blink advantage because... Somehow he came out of that on top, looking at resources lost. Um, he actually lost more Stalkers, had a higher Stalker count at the end there. I'm like, uh, I don't really know exactly. Um, I, it looked like Seed had more Stalkers starting from the beginning of that engagement, but really that was just a quick ballpark with units kind of blinking everywhere. Now the Stalker count is actually favoring Seed as Vpro has lost two additional Stalkers over his opponent, as it does appear from the resources lost tab. Observer's coming into play now. Seed... He's got to make his move here because the expansion is done. And Vpro, uh, you know, this is a map that he can really be abused on. As with this Observer, Seed's going to have the ability to blink into the main base. Luckily for Vpro, he does have the mobility. And in fact, with his income right now, bringing in 300 minerals, 200 minerals a minute extra over his opponent. Uh, with only two minutes of gameplay right now, he's going to have pulled ahead of Seed and Stalker Count and basically have won the game from that point. You can see right now, though, his Stalker Count is only even... And if Seed can abuse the mobility of his Stalkers, he may be able to, you know, pick off free units, pick off some pylons, pick off additional structures, uh, because he does have this Observer giving him the ability to blink into various locations. So a Stalker headed down to uh, the low ground right now. Does Seed see this? No, in fact, he does not. He's going to be working his way up, looking at the Stalker counts for both players. 15 to 14. One of the Stalkers of Vipro is down here, though, so it's really 15 to 13. And units have yet to fall for both players. Blinking to the back with the Micro, doing a very good job of this. Stalker falls for Seed. One falls for Vpro. You can see 14 to 13, 13 to 13, 12. Vpro is losing some Stalkers, but Seed is losing more. And Seed is going to be chased out of that natural expansion. Vpro holding that. And with it, he may be able to hold this game. Seed is not using this Observer at all. He has not used it a single time to try to blink into the main. Something that you absolutely have to do when your opponent tries to go for an expansion. Uh, Vpro is a little bit behind, however, on tech. He has uh, yet to drop a Robo. You know, he's still sitting on just four gates. He's now going to go up to five gates. Uh, with Blink, he's going to have a huge economy here, and it looks like he's going to start to take the aggression, which makes a lot of sense. You know, he's up in Stalkers right now. He's definitely still bringing in uh, quite a bit more money. And it looks like Seed is getting ready to drop an expansion, but this is a dangerous moment for Seed, guys. Um, he does not have an expansion. You know, he has no way to really increase his income to match that of his opponent, Vpro. Vpro has advanced tech over, uh, or advanced unit production, excuse me, over his opponent. Seed has more tech, but uh, in a limited quantity, only one immortal on the field right now. He definitely needs more of those, but he's supply blocked, and he chronos into a supply block, devastating to Seed right there, as he really needs these units. We'll see if he can buy himself some time a very nice um you know stalker counterattack here but i think this is the wrong move from vpro he's pulling all his units home right now and look at this stalker count this is four stalkers this is four measly red damaged stalkers these these things are as easy to kill as you're playing whack-a-mole and, and you just bop them on the head and these things are gonna die uh vpro you know he just warped in a couple of zealots if he had warped in four stalkers he would kill the four stalkers of seed he may even be able to do it uh, to be completely honest with three stalkers and instead, Vpro just gave up map control, brought his army all the way home. And this was an incredibly uh, successful maneuver out of Seed, far more successful than it really should have been. I, I think that perhaps uh, Vpro didn't actually know that there was an Observer here, and so kind of freaked out. And he was like, oh, what? How did you blink into my main? And kind of brought his whole army home. And now Seed is going to, you know, kill off these pylons. He's uh, getting this expansion. A couple Zealots going to come in now and see the expansion going down, but... Yeah, Vpro needs to get on the other side of the map and start attacking because he has a huge advantage right now. It was a little bigger earlier. Now it's definitely smaller. More Immortals on the field. A third is about to hit. There are already two. And Seed may actually be able to thwart this attack, whereas earlier he would have simply died. If Seed survives this game uh, and wins, this is going to be a testament to how good of a player Seed really is and that he's able to manipulate Vpro, even though he's behind in the early stages of the game, that he's able to manipulate him into a place where he can then hold and make a comeback. And it looks like he may be able to do that in just that. Vpro's going to force his advantage here because he knows he's far behind in tech. If we take a look at that production tab, he does not have a robo on the way, folks. Blinking forward right now with all of his units to target down these immortals. We'll see if he can do it. One immortal falls. The second one is getting highly damaged as well. But the units of Vpro are dwindling as those immortals have just output 
output, incredible quantities of damage, and two Immortals do fall, but V-Pro falls behind uh, by six or four supply in the uh, supply count, loses a bunch of Stalkers as well. He's actually got less Stalkers now than Seed. He's down on the Immortal count, of course, because, well, he just finished... Uh, he finished a Robo a little while back and disappeared. He's finally making an Observer out of it, but... That could be the uh, beginning of the end here, as, you know, is definitely going to be behind after this. I mean, Seed... Well, let's actually take a look at the Worker Supply. This is something important. And, in fact, Seed right now is behind on the Worker Supply. So, this actually is just going to more balance the game towards even. It's actually not going to be so devastating as a blow that we might suspect, but here are those four Stalkers of Seed right now. A completely botched blink there, though. Uh, four Seed is going to spell the death of one of those wounded warriors. And we've got another attack back in the natural of Seed. Once again, he's going to be blinking in, targeting down the Immortals, but Seed, remember, he has more Stalkers, folks. 19 to 15, and a couple of Seed Stalkers are, though, on the counterattack, but Seed looks like he is going to push back the attack of V-Pro once more, luckily, actually, for V-Pro as an Immortal was on the high ground there. Uh, Seed's actually really pushing his luck right now, and a lot of the Stalkers here for V-Pro have shields on them, whereas Seed's are very, very damaged. It doesn't look like he's lost much, though. He's only lost a couple of sentries, and now he's going to chase down the units of V-Pro. V-Pro turning around, constant back and forth here, all the while these Stalkers harassing in the main base of V-Pro. Seed continuing to get economic damage in there. He's getting in a ton right now as this Immortal joins the fray. V-Pro going to target down the Immortal. The Immortal falls. Seed at 71 supply. V-Pro at just 74, an incredibly bad back and forth game between these two players and Seed is done has done uh, a fantastic job holding off that attack but back at home Vipro has continued to lose uh, many many workers six kills for both of these stalkers and now Seed is actually going to realize that they're being attacked incredible APM for these players look at the average APM both of them over 300 right now fantastic play and a one stalker will not <laughs> make it out alive actually as he gets gunned down there by the immortal uh, we will have a pylon scouted here by Vipro, and he'll finally be able to at least uh, clean up the ability of Seed to get in this harass. The um, uh, Observer, excuse me, will be able to scout the natural expansion now, see that this robo is complete, but wow, what an incredible engagement back and forth between these guys. Economies are now even, and the Immortal Advantage is actually uh, lying in no player's favor. It's tied, but there are 13 Zealots on the field for Vipro. He does have less Stalkers, and he does have one extra Sentry. I mean, he's only got four less Stalkers, so four, or five. Five less Stalkers for 13 Zealots. There is a Supply Deficit here, but a lot of it's in those Zealots. This is going to be pretty interesting. Seed needs to work his way to Colossus if Vipro is going to be going this heavily on the Zealots. Remember, these Stalkers have Blink, and that's actually going to factor in uh, in quite significant portions here. Uh, we do have Stalkers blinking up into the main base. Seed is actually going to be able to kill potentially a couple of these uh, if he pursues more heavily. No, he doesn't. The blink back down onto the low ground. Seed is actually going to have a pretty nice engagement here with not all the Stalkers here for V-Pro quite yet. Force Field's going to cut the Zealots in the back. Lots of range DPS right now for Seed. V-Pro has a lot of his units that can't actually get into the fight. They're trapped. This Immortal hasn't gotten off a single shot this whole fight yet, where the Immortal for Seed has gotten in tons of damage before it's finally going to be focused down by V-Pro, but overall, a fantastic engagement for Seed. He's going to have to fall back. It looks like he may try to fight once again, but I don't know. He lost a all of his zealots there. Now he's got a little bit of an advantage in supply, but it's much more meager than he had earlier. Units on the high ground, are they able to be seen? No, they're not. In fact, he has no vision on the high ground. He cannot fire upon these units. They're getting free shots off on the units of V-Pro, and if there's any way he's going to lose this game, look at all the units on the high ground firing on V-Pro stalkers that he actually was completely unable to see, and the blink forward from Seed is going to be it. GG for V-Pro. And Seed with a fantastic win there to start off that set. I cannot believe that he actually fought his way back to victory there, guys. Wow. Uh, that was some really fantastic stuff out of Seed. I mean, we were talking about it earlier uh, in the beginning stages of that game that V-Pro had a fantastic advantage. You guys saw it just as much as I did. I mean, Seed, he had less Stalkers because he went for Robo and the Observer and didn't do anything with it. Um, but then he, he did that counterattack with, you know, four Stalkers, and it brought all the units of V-Pro home. It let Seed get out a bunch of Immortals, and so when V-Pro came in with that attack, I mean, Seed held it off. He had a little bit of an economic disadvantage, but then V-Pro made tons of Zealots, and then Seed made Force Fields, and then he just used High Ground, and that was just really, really solid play out of Seed that he was actually able, even able uh, to secure that game so early on. I, I can't believe that was game one. Um, 
So that said, we're going to cut to a quick commercial break. I am uh, really happy to be casting for you guys today. I hope you're enjoying the solo commentary because I'm all by myself. Uh, if you're not, let me know. I'm about to check it out on Twitch. Uh, so, guys, we're going to cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after this cut. Enjoy the music.